Hi family and welcome to this video. I'm very excited because today I'm going to review or I'm going to talk about this palette Carly Bible from Anastasia Barrett Hills. If you want to see how I created this makeup look and you want to hear my thoughts, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so uh, as you know, I do collect Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palettes, especially these, not the Norina palettes, the three big palettes that are just released. I don't own them and I'm not really interested in them either, but I own almost every eyeshadow palette like this that Anastasia released, except the very colorful one because I don't think I'm ever going to use it. Now, I love Carly Bible. I also got her um, palette that she created with BH Cosmetics, and I really like that palette. Now, when I saw pictures of this, it could have my name on it. This is my kind of palette. This is shades that I, I reach for. These are shades that I like playing with, and this is the, what I have on my eyes today. And I just used, I think like, I've used the Bible in the crease, then I dipped it up with Boeing, uh, and then I went with this boy, boy, here um, on the end and a little bit in the crease. Then I went in with Libra, uh, almost all over my eye, all, all over my eyelid, and then I used Bowley here in the beginning, and also smudged the Bible on my lower lash line. That is everything I have. I think I also went with this shade boy uh, just in the uh, very close to my lower lash line. And I also have beer uh, right here. I use this palette for uh, a couple of days now. I used all of the shades except these two. I almost used all of the shades except these two. Uh, and I can actually say that I really, really like this palette. At the end of this video, I'm going to just show you very fast how I created this makeup look. Um, but I'm going to swatch the palette. And, and I have to say, this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think it's very wearable. I think this is everyday palette. But I have to be honest, I feel like this came a little bit... I think this came out in a wrong season and I feel like this is more spring summer palette than it's fall palette now I watched Kali Bible's video and I think she said that um, I think I'm not really sure please co please correct me down uh, in the comments but I think she said that this um, leaked so they uh, so they put it early so they came out with it a little bit earlier than they planned. I don't know, but I feel like this is more spring and summer palette than it's fall and with winter. Of course, you can use it. There are some beautiful fall shades too, uh, but that's just my opinion. I feel like this is more for fall, but I really like it. I really like it. Shades are very easy to use, except just as uh, the modern Renaissance palette. I think, uh, I think this is going to be my most used palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I also like the soft glam palette. This is reminding me of that also a lot. Uh, not that shades are very similar, but I feel like the shade quality is exactly there. I really like this. I like the packaging. I like the outside packaging. I always throw these away. I don't keep them. I love this palette and I'm going to swatch it. So let's go over to the swatches. I'm not going to do anything special. I'm just going to swatch the shades um, to show you the pigmentation. The pigmentation doesn't really, the shades, the pigmentation, it depends most of uh, how you use them on the eyes. But I just want to show you how easy it's to get that pigment. They are very smooth, very wearable. Now, these shades reminds me of other palettes, like I think Makeup Geek has something similar to this. And I think also the Makeup Revolution. No, not Makeup Revolution. Makeup Geek. And there is one more palette that I can't really just remember right now that has something similar. Uh, I'm not saying names of these. I don't know if you really need names. But they are very smooth. They are very easy to blend. Very easy to use. Um, 
let me just dip this one up a little bit more. Now, when I saw her video, these two looked very similar uh, on the when she swatched them, but on the eyes, they're totally different, and also in the pen. This one has more of that, uh, more of uh, different sparkles in, more like, uh, very, it's very, very nice, especially for the day makeup and for the night makeup look when you apply it all over the eyelid. I will definitely create more makeup looks with this palette because I think it's very, very beautiful. Uh, I like this beer. I love that they always have that kind of shade in all of their palettes. I think except the um, one with uh, Jackie Aina, that one doesn't have this kind of bright shade, but All of the other palettes do have that and as, as you can see they are very smooth, they are very easy, easy to use, very easy to blend. I just love, love this palette. This is me. This is me in a palette. I think I will also create something like this if I was the creator of this palette because it has all of the shades that I like to use and I the, that I uh, pick when I'm creating makeup looks. So this is the swatches. Very easy to swatch, very easy to use, I know. And also the brush that I don't know where I have it now. I really like this brush that it comes with the palette. Now this one is a little bit hard when you go in with, the, with it in the crease. It does scratch my eyelids a little bit, but not too harsh. And I do like to use it because it blends eyeshadow. This is the only brush I've used for this makeup look and this is how it turned out. I mean, this is... A very very beautiful brush I do like it so I do like the brush that comes with this palette I'll also like the brush that comes with Urban Decay's palette but that's just my thought and I feel like you don't need any other brush than this one this is only this is the only brush I use to create this makeup look very easy it was very fast very easy maybe took me just five minutes and that is why I am going to show you guys if you want to recreate or kind of be inspired this is the makeup look I always do when I try out the palettes is because it's the fastest, it's the easiest and also goes very beautiful with my eye shape, these kind of makeup looks. Uh, I like it. I really, really like this palette. I think if you like wearable shades, if you like everyday, if you like very, you want that everyday makeup look but also a little bit colorful, I think this is definitely a palette for you. This doesn't remind me of any other eyeshadow palettes that Anastasia released before. Um, I think this is a very special, maybe this one looks, no, um, no, it doesn't look like anything else. First I thought it looked something like Modern Renaissance, but it doesn't really. It has that, uh, it has that nice pink um, undertone. I really like this palette. I think it's wearable. I think it's the best and I think it's going to be my most used palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I can make this video more long if you want to. I'm definitely going to create a couple of makeup looks with this palette, though I think it's a beautiful palette, but I think it came out wrong season. That's just the only bad thing about this palette is that I like the packaging, it's very easy. I like this kind of packaging that it doesn't get, it's white, but it doesn't get dirty very fast. So I do really like this packaging. Something new, something special. I just feel it's a beautiful palette. Let me know down below if you tried it. What do you think about this palette? I love Carly Bible. I don't watch her a lot as I used to because uh, before she uh, do, did many of uh, makeup looks videos, uh, review videos. Now, now she has more of those kind of like uh, vlogs on her channel and I'm not a big vlog watcher. So <laughs> I don't watch a lot of Carly Bible's videos, but I do like to support her. And especially when she creates something that really speaks to me. I love this palette. So guys, please let me know down below if you tried it. What do you think about it? Let me know what kind of makeup looks do you want to see. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, notification bell and, and I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side.